Okay, I gotta map these little dudes out. <clears throat> now, according to everything that I have found so far, is it goes like this one, three, four, and two. And then I find another one that is one, two, I mean, one, two, three, and four. Which, you know, shit. <laughs> that piss you off. Because <laughs> once you try to crank it, unless you can crank it outside, like, I'd like to set the stand up where I could put a radiator on it and uh, put a bell housing right here so it extend out a little bit more and be able to crank the damn thing. I ran into another issue which there's just a slight little difference in the size of the thread on the uh, knock sensor. It's the same identical part number, uh, cross reference it, and well, I'm just going to take it to Napa, I guess, and uh, see if Ma Napa can match it up. Uh, your model, part number, and all that. Uh, I still come up with a different size. So, uh, I'm going to put the coil packs on and then put the new wires on the coil packs and I'm going to do it where it's one, three, two, and four right here. And I've already cleaned the throttle body up. Well, I probably need to get that new sensor on top right there. But, oh, it looks really good. I cleaned, I took it off. Cleaned it out real well. Yeah, look at that. You can actually see it. It's it's turned black from all the soot and everything in there. Yeah, look down in there. Yeah. So, uh, actually this thing was sooty all over. <laughs> it had been backfiring like crazy. <clears throat> Come here. Let's put that up there where that goes. I got the fuel rail ready. It's clean. And I am missing two lock tabs on the uh, injectors. I'm missing this one here and this one here. See that little blue lock tab? I'm missing those. But uh, if I can, I'm hoping I can just slide it down on there and you know, hey, I'm good. I don't know, we'll see. It's just all depends, really. But I'll get ready. I'll put the uh, injectors on it uh, tonight. Mm, hell, I might do it here in a minute because if I open that garage door up, the temperature's going to raise by about 20, 30 degrees. It's hotter than hell outside. And i got to take that big, long saw right there and cut the road out. You can't get in and out of it with the truck. A little car, you know, it's like tunnel and that big truck is raking it everywhere so I have the cam sensor that's new the uh, crank sensor that one's new the uh, oil sending unit that's new and uh, I got to replace this and as you can tell it's going to be a bitch to get to if you ever put it in there and you don't change the damn thing it's going to be a bitch and that's why I want to change out the uh, electronic control module for the ignition or ignition control module this thing under here go ahead and get it yeah so all I have is really just be screwing around with that throttle body and the rear uh, oxygen sensor the downflow downstream I have the upstream I'll put it on Oh, Lord, uh, and you can't just buy just anything because uh, unless you want to do some wiring, make sure you get it wired right because the pigtails are different on them. And I made sure I got the right pigtail. And I got that one really cheap. I got that one at, uh, it was $8 for that one for the upstream. And you buy the pair for $39, but the problem with that is, is the pigtails don't match they don't match what's on the truck so 
uh, I'll end up paying about 20 or 30 dollars for that one on the downstream if I need it you know I'm if I don't need it I ain't buying it <clears throat> and I get this for 22 dollars and uh, well it's iffy on that uh, thermostat housing right there um, I buy just that one section for $45 here in America or I can get it from Mexico for $22 and then the cap which is the uh, inlet port on the top that's another $20 and I can't find the one that mounts on the side right here I can't find this one should I just clean it up is what I'll do and use it and I'll clean that one up over there and use it I mean surely I'll get a year or two out of it I mean the pipe might be corroded and everything but you know and spend $13 and just get a thermostat or seven from AutoZone and then I'm done screwing with that I'm ready right now to put in the uh, lifters and the push rods and I need to clean the push rods uh, I'll get those clean and get the uh, rod guides clean but I'm going to do them one at a time so they can go back in and I go one, two, good, strike them straight off that thing closest to me is number one so that would be one here then two, three, four five six seven and eight right there and then put the valve guides in that's see right there <clears throat> lifters ain't a problem i mean you're seven down there the thing is is you got to make sure that you don't put them in there crossways because they got rollers on the bottom of them see so you want them to sit down where they're on the lobe not like that on the lobe that's screwed but that's the way you want them and a good way to identify it is, well, you can't really do it. <laughs> you just have to know when you stick it in there and get it uh, right. You have to double check it. But there's a bleed port right there. That's where it pushes out. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Clean out the spark plug holes. And she's ready to go on there. And then I get that, I'll be ready to put this motor in and I just got to cut the road so that uh, FedEx can get in. Uh, bring me my clutch and pressure plate. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting a new one of them on there, screw it. You know, get done with that. I thought about getting that flywheel resurfaced, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably just clean it real good and uh, put it back on there cut down on some of this money because I'm close to a thousand on it now which ain't bad that's not bad I mean completely rebuilt and like a brand new motor well it will be a brand new motor <clears throat> and a uh, crate engine which is essentially the same thing it runs you about 2,000 2,500 for a crate so. I'm still in the good, and the truck's value, man, nobody working on the damn things, is roughly about $2,500 to $4,000. So, I'll get all this done, she'll have a really nice truck. Yeah. It's costing her, but she's paying it, and it's, you know, it's cool. She'll have a brand new truck, and you know, she's getting out of me and my labor. I love her. Putting all my love into this thing, as you can tell. <laughs> oh, and the paint job. All right, y'all. Peace. Nanny, nanny, shot button, all that other good shit. Uh, I'm waiting until about 4 or 5 o'clock. That sun will go down. I open that door up, and golly, about knock you out. Bye. Peace.